welcome back to my video, Familia Heart. And in today's video, we're going to be fixing slime. We're going to be fixing slime. I've got two slimes that I want to fix that I've had for ages. Um, and I'm pretty sure you remember them from my previous videos. And I also have my daughter joining us um, in today's video. She's just going to be playing with her toys, um, which I've already got toys behind me. So, um, so we're going to be fixing this slime first because I think it's going to be the easiest one to fix. And then we'll fix this one. So I'm pretty sure you remember this slime from one of my videos. I can't remember what video it was, but from one of my videos, we fixed this slime. Um, just taking it out of the container now. So it was my donut slime. So I'm just gonna tilt my camera um, down a little bit so you can see. So this was my donut slime. And I, it's been sitting there like it's been collecting dust. So I figured maybe I might fix it. So we'll, we'll be fixing this slime today. I'm just trying to make a bubble at the moment. Which is going to fail because it's popping holes. So, so that's that slime we're fixing today. And we're also fixing this slime as well. Which I'll talk about that slime when we get to it. So... I have an idea of what I want for this slime. Um, yeah, I got an idea of what I actually want to do with this slime. Um, I want to make it like a unicorn. I want to make it like a pink. I'm not too sure yet. <laughs> my daughter's sitting right by my chair. Um, but I think I've got an idea of how I want the slime. But before we do handle with the actual slime itself, um, I want to do a slime base to make this like stretchier. Um, so we're gonna make this stretchier, we're gonna make it bigger, um, fuller. And I'm thinking about changing the color as well. Um, so yeah, I will keep the sprinkles in the slime because the sprinkles will eventually fall out. They already are starting to fall out, so yeah. So I'm going to fix the slime. So obviously the first thing I want to do with the slime is put shaving foam in the slime. So I'm actually going to just leave it on the table, spray the shaving foam while it's on the table, and then just mix it all in. So I will tap my, tilt my camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, what are you doing, Squirt? So yeah, you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to put some shaving foam on the actual slime itself and then just mix it all into the actual slime um, to make it like fluffier. And also I think I'll make it stretchy as well. Bump my shaving foam out of the way of my elbow. That's a toothpaste, baby. Yeah. She's playing with her toothpaste that she found. I brought her toothpaste because now she's got teeth and I'm starting to teach her how to brush her own teeth. Don't touch that. That's mommy's perfume and it's made out of glass. You don't really want to touch that. You don't want to touch that either. Put that down. Put it down. Good girl. Go play with your baby. Go play with your baby doll. Put the toothpaste down. Go play with your baby doll. Good girl. Yeah, he does not know how to talk as well now. So this is actually lightening the colour as well as I can see. So it's really lightening the colour too. Um, hmm. I'm probably not going to be using my bowl for this slime. 
even though I will be using glue as well. And by the way, this, when I brought this one, this was already pre-brought. Um, I'm pretty sure you, you know, for people that watched the video of me playing with this slime, you, pr you probably wouldn't know that already. Because um, I was trying it out myself. And I wanted to try it on the video with you guys. So, yeah. Um, okay, so this slime is already starting to get its stretchability back. Um, I'm not even too sure if that was even a word. But it's starting to get stretchy again. And it's also light in the colour as well. So it'll be easier to hopefully change the colour. Which I think I've got an idea of what colour I actually want it to be. Um, but the colour will probably be the last thing I do for this slime. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to mix some more foam in the slime to get it off of my table. And as you see, it's starting to fall apart. So it looks like it's messy, but it... I, I've, done, I've done this plenty of times before with slime, but it looks like it's crumbling apart because of the shaving foam, but it will actually eventually work itself together again. And I can't wait until my daughter is of age where she will know what slime is and be wanting to do videos and that with me. So then we can do like challenges together or things like that. Even though that's years and years and years away, I literally cannot wait until I can actually do YouTube videos with someone else. And that someone else being the closest person to my lot in my life, which is my daughter. So hopefully it won't be too far away where I'll be able to do YouTube videos with her. With my best friend, with the closest person to my heart, which is my daughter. So hopefully it won't be long before I can do videos with her. At the moment she's just a little girl and doesn't understand. So as you see it's starting to get fluffy. And getting it stretchy back. Like I will actually buy a lotion next pay. Um, and I'll buy like another tub of glue. Hopefully I can buy like a free gal of three liter gallon glue, hopefully. Just gonna get this rest of the shaving foam in to the slime. Shaving cream back a little bit. Okay, so I think I'm done with the shaving foam. The rest of the shaving foam that's on my table will eventually go into the slime. So the next thing I want to do to fix this slime is put glue in the slime so i'm just going to stretch it out on the bench to easily place my glue and i'll buy more glue on my actual pad as well um, so i've got I'm just gonna put the cap back on my shaving foam and put it to the side so i've got my glue um this probably will need activator as well which i've got plenty of that and i'll buy more activator again on my pad Oop, wrong Glue seems to be putting its lid back in. So, okay, so I've got my glue, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that onto my slime. That should be more than enough. Um, glue. Okay, I'm just gonna eventually mix 
all that glue into my slime, as you can see. And if I have to, I will use activator, but I'm going to try my very best to mix all the glue into my slime. Okay, so I'm actually going to hold this underneath my armpit to help me open it up. What are you doing, babe? And now I'm just going to pour a little bit of my activator on there to hopefully help it. Stick together a little bit more. You just gotta trust the process. Trust the process. And I don't have um, any lotion, but I'm pretty sure oil will do the same thing as lotion i've never actually tried oil in slime before so it will be the new first okay now i'm just gonna Get rid of all the glue and shaving foam off of my table to clean it up because the slime can actually be used to clean up. And you're watching mummy. <laughs> Okay, so the glue is about what? The glue is finally worked into the slime. Um, I don't need any more activator, so I can put the lid on my activator. Um, and it's not as stretchy as what I want it to be. And like I said, I don't have lotion, which normally lotion does a trick. Um, I don't have lotion on me, but I do have coconut oil. So I'm actually gonna. Try coconut oil. I don't know if this will destroy my slime, and I'm kind of hoping that it won't. Um, but I'm gonna put a little bit of coconut oil in my slime to hopefully make it a little bit more stretchy. But I don't want too much coconut oil in case it doesn't work. Where are you going? You can't go. Not yet. Okay, so I put a little bit of coconut oil in now. Now I'm just gonna work the coconut oil in my slime and I'm actually hoping that it doesn't destroy it okay it's not as stretch as what I want it so I'm just gonna add a little bit more and didn't destroy my slime which is great so I think this is actually a good weapon for um to make your slime stretchy so once again I don't want to overdo it I'm just gonna put a little bit of coconut oil into my slime because I don't want to deactivate it. That would be the last thing I want to do because then I have to work, work through the process again. Ooh. That's making it stretchy. That's making it real stretchy. Okay, coconut oil is definitely my weapon to make it stretchy. 
So I probably won't need a pie lotion. Okay, so now, now before we um, change the color of this, I want to check the text. I want to try the texture to make sure it's good quality slime and that we actually fixed it. And this probably won't fit in my container anymore. So the poke test. The stretch test. Okay, the stretch and the bubble test, the stress test and the poke test passed. Now, this is the big test. Can I make a bubble? Okay, I'm just gonna let that fall to the ground, to the table surface, so I can pull it up and hopefully be able to make my bubble. Yep, it passes the bubble test as well. So I think the slime is now fixed. Because it passes all the bubble test, the stretch test, the poke test. Like it passes it all. And the texture. I actually don't mind the texture. It's not sticky. It's not too hard, it's just right. So now what we're gonna do, now I'm gonna be doing it in the bowl so I really don't want to get my counter all dirty and stained. We're gonna be changing the color. So we've got red, blue, yellow or green, orange, purple, dark green, lime green, aqua or orange, uh, ocean, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure what that word says. And then we've got orange, purple, lime green, aqua, brown, and black. What do I, I don't really want black. Peach, magenta, lime, dust pink, or, or latte. That's kind of what, that's what the box says. And this is the same as this box here. So I think I know the colour I actually want for this slime. I'm thinking about maybe splitting it in half and making orange, red, and yellow slime. So yeah, I'm going to be splitting this in half. Yep. I'm going to be making orange, yellow, and red, and I want to see what colour that makes together. So we'll start off with the yellow because I like yellow. Okay, that should be enough yellow. We'll mix it in. Hopefully it doesn't turn into like a yucky yellow. Hopefully it turns really, really good. My vent turns off to a really, 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 really pretty yellow. So I don't really want it to be disgusting. And this might already need more coconut oil. <laughs> yeah, I want to grab my coconut oil out. And put more coconut oil in. That coconut oil is definitely great. <laughs> and that yellow is real pretty. But I think I might actually have it one more drop of yellow in the slime 
and I might want a little bit more coconut oil in the slime as well. Yep, and then one more drop. And a little bit of coconut oil as well, because I actually really want it really, 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 really stretchy. Perfect. What do you guys think of this yellow slime? I don't normally make a lot of yellows and oranges and red slimes because I'm always making blues, pinks and purples. Um, which I should actually get into... I should actually get into the idea of making a whole heap of different colours. Um, of s different colour slimes because they all look really, really nice. You okay, baby boo? You look like you're going to sleep. Okay, so the next one I want to make, the next color I want to make is red. So I'm gonna be making red slime next. Just gonna pour a little bit of red in here. Hopefully, it gets to red, and I'll make it pink. Apparently, white slime with red food colouring makes it pink, and I don't know about the pink with red, um, pink with red dye. I think it's just gonna make it either a darker pink, or maybe red. I don't know. Yeah, it's making it like a darker pink or a peach, which I don't really want. I want it to be like a fiery red color. So I'm actually going to add a little bit more dye into the slime um, because I want it to be a little bit more redder than that. Okay, it's starting to get there. It's starting to get there. I'll be for it a little bit more red. Yeah, I actually would prefer it a little bit more red, but it is red. I would like it a little bit darker. So, a little bit more dye into the red slime to make it red, hopefully red. Oop, and I'll need a little bit more coconut oil. Because the red dye is obviously over activating it. What do you think babe, do you like it? India likes it, she approves. Not sure if it would be like if it's the red that I want. What do you guys think? Is it red or is it pink in the camera? It looks more redder in person than it does on the camera. Okay, I'm going to be putting a little bit more red in there because I really want to be fiery red. I'll put a lot more dye in here, hopefully. 
it works and turns it to red like a fiery red the one I want okay that's looking a lot more better that's looking more red that's probably perfect I'm just gonna clean up the red bowl dye out of my bowl. Okay, now I'm just gonna pick up all the sprinkles because I think I'm happy with that red. Okay. I think I'm happy with that red. So now we've got yellow and red. One more color. I want to keep these separated for the meantime. Uh -oh. One more color and that is orange. So for orange, I have to follow the box, which it says one red and two yellows, which I'm actually going to do two reds and four yellows because this is pink. One, two, and Four yellows. One, two, three, four. Hopefully this works. <laughs> Turns it to an orange, which is what I want. And I'll need a little bit of a coconut oil to make it stretchy. Stretchy! <laughs> She's hugging her baby. Oh my god, it's so cute. I wish you guys can see it right now. And I would turn the camera around, but her hands are all oily. Okay, so it's definitely not the orange that I want. Um, so I'm actually going to put a little bit more dye in it. Two more yellows. One, two. And one more red. One. Okay, it's starting to get there. It's starting to get there. Okay, it's not the orange that I want, but it's starting to get there. So I'm actually gonna go copy the pattern one more time. Two yellows, one, two, one red, one. Okay, let's see what color you turn out to be next. Oh, that's pretty. So pretty. It's turning out the colour that I want. Slowly but surely it's been the colour that I want. Yay. I am so happy with these transformations already. Like, really happy with it. Um, I do want it a little bit more orange than that, but it's coming there. It's almost there. So I want it to be like a fiery orange. Two yellows, one, two, one red, one. Okay, copy it, copy it. Hopefully it will work and be the orange that I want. And also in a fortnight's time, I am going to be renovating this chair because this is the, the I, I don't really like the chair, it's uncomfortable and it's too like the back 
head is too short i want it to be like more comfy um so i'm gonna be renovating the chair and then hopefully the fortnight after i'll renovate this desk and hopefully the fortnight after i'll renovate these cupboards and hopefully within the last fortnight i might renovate my bed because i want this to all match the theme of the room that i want to go for um and hopefully i'll better get there um and I actually got tips and advice from my grandmother with the materials that my desk and my overhanging um, drawers are with the, with the actual material that it's made out of. I probably won't be able to paint it, but I can easily get like stick on tiles or stick on materials to actually stick onto it to make it work. Um, so I will have a look around and see what I want to do with it. So keep in touch and i might actually buy like a little i don't know light or something like that and get it installed into my overhanging um compartment up here just for my youtube videos um anyway i'm done with the color of this slime i do want it to be a little bit more stretchy so we'll add a tiny bit more coconut oil into the slime okay like so But I am done with the colour of it, so I'm about to put the lids on the bottle so I don't accidentally knock them over and get the colour all over my stuff. Like that! Oh my god! Oh no! It's alright, I'm going to be renovating this desk anyway, but if this desk was already renovated, I probably would have lost my mind. Okay, so I'm going to put the dies back in the box. So they can't make any more mess. I'm going to move the coconut oil to the side. Okay guys, what do you think of this colour? I think this colour actually turned out probably the better out of the other two colours, but I also really, really like the yellow. So I'm actually going to be rolling it up into strips and making a, making a swirl. You okay, baby boo? Okay, plus the orange all rolled up. I don't really want these sprinkles in this slime anymore, but eventually they will all fall out, so I don't have to worry about them. Okay, so the red. And the yellow. So now I'm just gonna mix them all together. And then stretch them out. Okay, now I'm just going to wait until it falls to the ground. Oh my god, that is actually so pretty! Oh my god! Changing the colours to orange, red and yellow is definitely no regret. I love this colour! Okay, now it's going to mix them all together. <laughs> and I might actually put a little bit more coconut oil into it. 